If your blood glucose insulin sensitivity at a fasted state is around 80, maybe 85, that meal is probably going to spike you up over 100, maybe even 110, 120, somewhere around there. And then you want to allow that to completely fall back down to you being insulin sensitive again. So however long that takes, and you'd only be able to note this if you were utilizing a blood glucometer. So what I'd strongly advise is we have to think about, well, am I a fast metabolizer or am I maybe a slower metabolizer? And it's going to take me longer to metabolize that meal. Nonetheless, most of my clients eat between anywhere between three and five meals per day, and they do allow for at least three hours in between meals. So what I would encourage you to think about is get away from all the little bumps here, right? Grab a handful of strawberries, some blueberries, a banana, a carb bar, maybe a glass of orange juice. Get away from doing all of that and think about creating ideal meals that are going to help you satisfy all of your bodily needs. We have to remember that fat controls your cholesterol, your endocrine system, and your hormonal profile. Carbohydrates are essentially going to fuel your thyroid and give you more energy. Protein is going to help you build or maintain lean body mass.